wanted to real quick um, do an update on my book because I haven't talked about my book really at all on the blogs. I know I'm still getting a, kind of getting the hang of all this stuff and I know the lighting is crazy but in the car I'm washed out, in the house it's too dark, the lighting here is ridiculous. Um, it's just something with my house. Like it doesn't matter what bulbs, like I can put the whitest bulbs in, it still looks like this sh crap. So bear with me, I'm going to get the lighting figured out. Eventually, maybe, hopefully, I don't know, I'll buy a damn light, especially for this if I have to. Um, anyways, I just wanted to do like a little update because the book is almost done. I can't freaking believe it. Um, unfortunately, even though the book itself is about done, there's so much other crap I gotta get done. I gotta get, like, jeez, I have, I think, a hundred, I think a hundred contributors, something around there, and I've only got about half of their release forms in. So I've gotta collect all those release forms, I gotta talk to the attorneys, because there's a lot of legal stuff with my book. I talk a lot about my past. Um, while I don't name any names, there are a lot of incidences, especially in the first chapter, that are about my childhood and specific people. Um, again, no names, but I, I just need to make sure I'm covered there. And then having work from all over the world, so many different countries, I gotta make sure I don't have any issues there. And, you know, basic publishing laws and all that crap. So, then I've also gotta get, you know, editing done and, Get it printed and get it released and all that crap. So, even though the book is almost done, which is so exciting, after like almost five years, I think now, um, it's still not quite done because I've got a lot of background crap. But the reason I wanted to do this is because I kind of want you guys' opinion. So, I had always, always planned to go with a book agent. Um, I'm old school. I, I went to college because I thought it meant getting a better job and making more money and like I write when I write my stuff 90% of the time I write pen and paper I don't type um it's just how I am so by default I just assumed you write a book you get an agent that's how it works um I just felt like it made me more I felt like having an agent meant to be honest it and I don't mean this in a way to anybody else this is just a personal issue I felt that by getting an agent it solidified that I was a good writer. I felt like anybody off, off the street can self-publish, but if an agent liked my work, then I must be good. Um, and that's a selfish thing, obviously. And so the point of this is that I have gotten a lot of feedback from agents and they all keep saying the same thing. They love it, they like it, they love it, it's great, blah, blah, blah. But the niche is so unique. My book is not just paranormal based, um, but it's an anthology hybrid. That's my term. Yay. Um, with that, I don't know if you guys know what an anthology is, but an anthology is like a collection of, so a collection of poetry, a collection of artwork, a collection of stories. Um, so it's got a lot of collection of stories from all over the world in it, but it's also got a whole lot of content from myself into it. It's also got a lot of how to um, self-help type stuff in it. So my book is literally a story, self-help slash anthology hybrided craziness that's geared toward kids in a paranormal industry. It's, it's a very, it's an amazing book and I'm so incredibly proud and honored and that I got to do this book, that I, I'm the one that gets to put this out there for the world. And I'm so in love with my book. But it is a very unique, unique book that doesn't really fit in a niche that most people are used to working with. And so I'm constantly being told by agents, this is great. This is awesome. Your work is great. I don't know what to do with it, though. Um, so then I finally surrendered to the self-publishing. Oh my God, I did not want to self-publish. And again, it's nothing to anyone else who's self-publishing. I am one of those kids that if I got a B plus in school, I lost my shit. I didn't do B pluses. When I got my bachelor's, I was not okay with it. I was like, I would need my master's. Everyone has a bachelor's. This is crazy. And I went and got my master's. That's just how I am. And so it's just a personal issue for me. So it's going in my mind to a level that anybody can do was hard for me. I guess I'm just a perfectionist in that sense. Um, but once I succumbed to it, I realized how amazing it is, right? You can put out 
content whenever you want. You don't have to conform. Right away, agents were already telling me, well, I think you should change the title to this. Well, I think you should do this. And it was already starting to piss me off, and they hadn't even signed me, and they were already giving me ideas. Um, I shouldn't say ideas. They were already trying to change things, and I wasn't okay with that. I'm very particular about the way this book is written. It's very important the way that the book is put together, and it's done the way for a specific reason. Um... So I, I realize with self-publishing, I have full control over the content, um, creative and otherwise, and I can put out books whenever I want. If I want to pull out another one, I don't have to wait for it to get approved by another agent. I don't have to whatever. I'm in full control of the sales. Self-publishing is horribly, horribly, I, I mean, I went to go look for self-publishing, I went to go find out how much First, I was really scared because I thought you had to pay for everything up front. I don't have that kind of money just later on. But then I found out that you don't. You pay a lot of places, well, they pay per order, right? So, like, they just take a cut. You don't pay anything up front. And then they take a percentage of whatever book is sold. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I can do this. Then I found out you only get, like, 25% of every book that's sold. So that book sells for 15 bucks and you get, like, three. It's crazy. I don't know if that's exactly... 25% don't I'm horrible at math but you get the gif you get oh shit the average I think you get like maybe three dollars for like the average book sales per book gotta sell a lot of books to make any sort of money off of that um with self-publishing but then I thought about it you don't have to pay for print and publishing and all that you with an agent they're gonna still take a cut It's hard because like you could get a book deal and they'll give you 10 grand. But what happens if you're like JK Rowling and the next thing you know, your book sells millions and millions. I'm not saying I'm anywhere near that level, but I'm just saying then you lost out on all those profits because you, you took a deal where I know where my money's at. If I'm self publishing, I may not be happy with the money that's coming in, but I, I know I'm in control of it, which I'm a huge control freak so that made me feel better. I was like, oh my god, I'm in full control of the content, I'm in full control of the sales, I'm in full control of how often I put out books. You know, I think this is gonna work. And since I have a master's degree in marketing, no problem, I got this. Which I still feel all those things. Then, after I fully not only succumbed to the idea of self-publishing, but got genuinely excited about it, another agent approached me and wanted to see more of my work. That's still pending, by the way, so I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. And I just thought, are you kidding me? Like, I finally succumbed to this, and now you're giving me my first dream option. So, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I asked you guys on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. And I got great feedback from you guys, which is what I've been doing so far. Most of you recommended seeing through with the agent and then seeing how that played out, which is what I've been doing so far. Um, but I'm curious your guys' thoughts and opinions um, on all of it. If you guys don't know much about my book, um, you can check out the link below here and um, get all the jazz on the book. Oh my god, guys, this is falling. Nope, oh, it's falling. Okay, so I have to wrap this up. But the point is, um, I just really... Oh my god, stop. Um, I have to hold this up, so ignore that. Um, I just really want to know your guys' opinions on my book and what you think just in terms of um, i'm bouncing now what the hell um i just want your guys opinion on the book and what you guys think about it so far in terms of concept um i don't want to give too many details yet although i will start leaving out details soon as i start releasing things from the book and getting farther along and then your guys's experiences with either agents or self-publishing and what you guys think i should do about it so all right guys i gotta go because i've got people coming home and this stupid thing won't stay on. So help me out. Give me your feedbacks. Let me know what you think. Until next time, guys.